Hello everyone, this is Fix, and once again we are in the Vanilla Craft server. With me today is just uh, Bud and T. Uh, this is like their first day on the server, they just got back from doing whatever it is they're doing. So they're just mining and stuff. I think T actually set up his old house. But uh, I moved from that little shack to this little crappy house so far. Uh, I like the layout, like it was in between these two walkways over here. I thought it would be a cool place to put a building. I haven't really worked on it much, I just put the outside of it so that way I was at least safe and had some place to put all my stuff. That's about as far as I got. But uh, not really much has changed here. Uh, I think we have a community storage now. That's T's house. He sort of took over goats and I's little shacks that we had. But other than that, I think that's all that's really changed. He's got chimney. <laughs> um, Actually, uh, what I'm going to do today is uh start working on the sand generator. Lay out the building for it. I don't have uh, enough sticky pistons or anything to actually start doing the redstone yet. But I'm going to start laying out the building for it. Um, I, I don't know. like That giant slime farm, I don't think I've showed you guys a slime farm in a while. But uh, I dug out this giant hole at the bottom of our mine shaft, and it has like not yielded any slimes at all. <laughs> so I'm hoping we get some slimes soon. Maybe I'll get lucky and find some jumping down there this time. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I'm really waiting on right now is just slimes. Once I get that, I'll have everything I need to work on it. I just need to craft some repeaters, and that's really about it. Yeah, see. No slimes. I think I'm gonna start digging that. Oh, there is a slime. We got two more. That yeah, figures. I think there's a. Sl I think this is a slime chunk like right here. And I don't want to dig that way, but I might start digging that way if I have to. Because uh, the only reason I don't want to dig that way is so that way, like if people do want to strip mine down here, they do have slots to go to. But if that's the only place we're gonna be getting slimes. At least for sure getting slimes, then I might end up doing that. But, yeah, I really have no, like, layout of what I'm going to make this building. I know two things that I really want to do is I want to have an option to... Where you, it'll generate both sand and gravel, but not at the same time. You have the option to uh, generate either, either or. And uh, another thing I want to have is, unlike any other server, you had to sort of run back and forth to collect your sand and... Uh, the other generator, it, it worked really well, you just had to keep running back and forth. So what I want to do in this one is make it so you just have to stand in one spot and you'll collect all your sand and gravel that you want. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to do the redstone or anything. Like I haven't worked it out in creative or anything yet. So I guess it's just going to be a winging experience. Come on. Alright, I do know I want to build it over here somewhere. Most likely like right there. I'm not sure. I want to build it in a relatively flat spot. Just because uh, it's just easier to build in flat areas. But I got to make sure that I don't take over a spot that would be good for a tree farm. Because I got to start working on that soon once I get some more sticky pistons. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go for this spot for the sand generator. Or maybe down there. I don't know. I'm going to decide on a spot and um, get some materials, some building materials. Because I have like nothing on me. So I'll go get that stuff and I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready to start building. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, well, apparently T's trying to sleep, but I don't think he knows that he can't sleep because Vanilla Craft is in the overworld. But uh, this is probably one of the hardest decisions I ever make when I build is what building materials to do. Because like, I'm not the best builder. And one of the reasons why is like I just struggle with trying to figure out what materials to use. So usually what I do is just to go with stone bricks I, I don't know that's just my default thing to go to I, I don't know everything gets kind of bland when you make everything out of stone bricks but I always tell myself that I'll go back and change it later but I never do but I think I'm gonna do uh what is this oak wood for the floors it seems all right and more than likely I'm just gonna use stone bricks <laughs> just because that's just what I use it seems I'm getting a little lag uh, like that, we got a little door frame, and we are committed. That's our building so far. All right, so the way I had this set up on the other map, um, I had uh, wow, 
I'm gonna reload really fast, I'll be right back. Alright, so uh the way I had this set up on the other map was I had just a wing like this. I think it was like four blocks wide or so. I need more oak. It was about four blocks wide. I had furnaces on all the sides so that way uh, you could smelt while you waited. And then uh, the generator itself was like right there. I think I'm going to go something similar to that. Um, I want the central collection unit. I'm going to build this odd so that way I can have just a one wide thing. So uh, for like where you just stand and collect it. So let's go this way. I'm not sure what the shape of the building is going to turn out to be either. So I kind of want, I feel like that's a little too wide already. But I want you to stand like this and have maybe like a little cubby. Maybe two, three wide. Like that. Just so that way you have a spot to stand and then we'll have the lovers like this. I mean, I'm trying to plan ahead a little bit here, but that's basically what I'm going to have. I'm going to have the lovers, one's for sand, one's for gravel. And then, like, if you want both, you can float them both down. Just stand there and you'll get your... get what you want. So, this seems like a okay flow with what I'm going with right now. I flattened out the terrain a little bit just so that way uh, I had an idea of what I was going to work with. So, let's see... We have this, we got that there, alright, I think uh, what I'm going to do, because this is probably a little bit boring, is I'm going to lay out the floor and the walls and then bring you guys back and see what we have. I don't want to cut too much, but I do think, I feel like this kind of stuff is boring, all I'm doing is just placing blocks. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is basically the feel of what I have going on so far. I'm going to have, basically this is what I was talking about, this is a little central collection unit, you just sit here and collect the uh, sand. And then like, these are your, like selectors, like this one will be sand, and this one will be gravel, you can have them both if you want both. And uh, all you have to do is, after you select which one you want, you just stand there. Um, I think what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to have four furnaces on each side. I actually ran out of cowboy, so I couldn't make any more furnaces. And then uh, just the double chest at the end. And then I'll just close this off. I think that'll be good for the building wise. Um, another thing I'm probably going to, uh, or at least I forgot about that I really want to include is in the other server, I had like a, a window where you could see the sand being generated. And I really like that look. Like you could just see the machine running. Um, it just looked really cool. I Hopefully I can include it. I just, I feel like this is too close. Like you're not going to be able to look up comfortably. I think you could look like right here and see everything working. Because uh, I had like a little alcove, like this was all the wall and then it spread out. And I did that for that reason because I thought of that little idea. I don't know if I'm going to be able to include it or if I'm going to do something different. But that's where I'm at with that so far. Um, I'm going to... I don't know, like, I, I can't really start working much more on it. I mean, I can still finish the building out, but uh, I have to smelt more stone. Because I'm out of stone. So, I think I'm just going to stop with it for today and start working on the nether a little bit. See, uh, try and get that organized a little more. I kind of like where that's going. But, uh, because so far it's just a big mess. There's nothing really, uh, we actually, we have two blaze spawners, but, like, the fortress is like every time you go to the fortress you get shot by blazes and or not blazes by gas and it's not very it's not really safe it's not supposed to be safe but uh, I want to try and change that just to have like a safe trip to uh, the blaze spawner and I kind of want to make it so there's like a mini farm not like something that we're gonna have eventually where you just have to sit there and push a button and then you kill them you just sit there and smack them with your fist but uh just like a small little blaze where they pocket it down into a little hole and you can uh, just hit them with a sword. Um, nothing too crazy. I gotta get some more materials here. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna need. Um, let's see. I'm probably gonna need a couple stacks of cobblestone. 
few stacks. Yeah, we got some more stone bricks right there. A few stacks of cobble. And I think that should be good. I'm actually gonna go grab some uh, fire resistant potions. Ooh, getting some more lag. Alright, I know I brewed up with some. Wow, that was wow, I'm getting really bad lag. Holy crap. Maybe I just can't walk through doors or something. Yeah, I must have been clipped on the door. But, uh, I'm gonna grab maybe two healing potions and... Let's see, do we have anything made? A slowness potion. Amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna brew up some potions and I'll be right back. I keep chopping away. That's not really what I wanted to do. Oh, uh, oh I'm gonna brew up these potions and I'll be right back. Alright, so we got our potions brewed up and we're ready to head into the nether. Ooh, I st stumbled pretty bad right there. But uh, we're getting ready to head into the nether, so let's do that. Let's venture into... Um, there, there is a little bit built here, like we have a little cobblestone protecting us right here. But other than that, it's pretty wide open. I don't know when I should drink this. Uh, the fortress is actually this way. Wow, we're getting some really bad rendering issues. Or at least, as well, like this is no like pretty usual for the other server, but this server has been pretty good for, so far. Guess we're getting to that point where we're building too much. All right, so this is the first place spawner up here. This one's probably actually going to be the hardest one to. Well, actually, no, this one's pretty much almost done. Uh, let's drink this really fast. Get rid of that out of the hot bar. Let's take care of these guys really fast. Alright, is there anything underneath here? Alright, it doesn't look like it. Alright, basically what I'm going to just do is just have them drop. Um, that's the wall. Just have them fall down just so uh, we can kind of funnel them a little into a spot. And then we can just sit there and smack them. We don't have to worry about chasing them down or anything. It's pretty simple. Wow, am I seriously out of inventory space? Ooh, it's gonna suck if we get the blaze or gas to shoot the blaze spawner. I don't know. Can gas destroy spawners? I think I would assume so. I'm just gonna assume that they do so that way I don't have to risk it. Ouch, you jerks. Alright. We actually need glowstone, so this isn't. This is helping us out a little bit. We'll probably get to 30 by the time we get done with this too. If we don't uh, die doing it. Like that, that would have killed us. Alright, we gotta drink this. Alright, we're down one potion. I only brought two. I didn't think I'd need them that fast. But these guys are messing us up. And that gas in the background just being a jerk. Oh, I just beat that guy with my shovel. <laughs> I'm out of, I didn't even bring arrows. Wow, I really didn't come prepared. I could have sworn I had arrows though. That gas is just a jerk. Just shooting at us. Can't even do anything. Yeah, that, that would have definitely destroyed the spawner. So I'm, I don't think he can destroy spawners. Come on. Down to four and a half hearts. Jesus, you guys are evil. I, I'm not sure how much further down this goes. They're funneled a little bit. I, I need to get my instant health potion on just in case. Actually, I might as well drink it since I'll be at nine and a half hearts. There we go. Let's take care of these guys. I'm not being very careful. <laughs> Alright. Um, I actually didn't really come with much of a plan. I just decided... Because I know how we built this on the other server. So if anything, we're uh, doing a little bit of work. Because we do have to dig down like this anyway. Uh, oh, I think that gas is gone. I don't know where it went though. 
so we got this dug down. Let's just do that for symmetry's sake. Go like this. And then, I don't have any pistons. What a jerk! Like, all I have is a knockback two sword. It doesn't even have sharpness or anything on it, so... I got pretty ripped off. That's probably the thing I'm gonna chant once I get done with this. Alright, we have him down. I need to... Just get this started. Ouch. I already need another potion. They just keep spawning on top of me. There we go. There's some more. I think the lag's gonna kill me here in a sec. Alright, we got those guys taken care of. Alright, um, jeez. Stick down right here. I kinda got a little quiet. No! Oh, they're gonna kill me! Aha! No! We're at two and a half, or a heart and a half. I think I should head back. I should have brought more potions. Okay, I'm gonna head back. This is dangerous. I'm, like, really unprepared for this. So there, I'm, I brought all this cobblestone, I'm not even using it. Oh my god. Let's see. Alright. Yeah, we need to head back. I would have died there. Another hit and I would have been, it would have been over. Lost all my levels, probably would have lost most of my equipment. Jeez, look at all that crap I have in my inventory. The server's getting really laggy for some reason. It was not this laggy just a little bit ago. I might need to relog again. That's probably the problem. Alright. Yeah, look at that lag. Alright, toss that back in there. I probably don't need that one. Just grab that. And that is my last, uh healing potion all right these things are so annoying now I don't know if there's a bug with them or what but they're so annoying all right I probably should grab arrows but I'm not going to head back really fast let's go and it isn't that way one thing that I do want to set up in another actually this server is a uh, a pigment farm I think I've always wanted to make one and this nether actually looks pretty good for one that wide open area down there we could put it in the corner wouldn't have to do as much digging so I might I might start working on that. oh I can't work on too many things I already have I started the sand generator and I started this should be enough to keep me occupied for a little bit let's take these guys out Alright, got that. Alright, we have him down a little bit. And now, they should just fall down. I don't know what we could do, because like, usually what you want to do is you want to have pistons pushing them into a center point, so that way you can just beat them against the wall, but I think what we can do here Let's put some cobblestone like this. Like that. Just to keep them contained a little bit. Oops. And then we can uh they're gonna fall on you. And yeah, I guess you can I guess this is alright, you can box them to death. Oh, they do get stuck up there. Let's put some cobblestone. God, you guys are evil. Gotta drink that again already. It's our last one. Oh no! 
fire resistance is out. Alright. Got these. I guess this works alright. Other than the cobblestone and stuff getting stuck, or not the cobblestone, the drops getting stuck up there. Um, maybe we can pull it up there and replace this uh, fence with cobblestone. I should take care of that. Save. Alright, so we just gotta take out this another brick fence and we should be pretty much good. The drops won't get stuck up here. Last thing I need is to get knocked out the window, though. Alright, so we got that going. Make sure we don't take fall damage. I did get feather falling for your boots, though, so... Falling isn't too big of a deal, but... Every little bit of injury adds up when you're playing like this. You guys are so... Ah! Leave me alone! Four hearts, three hearts, two and a half hearts. We might need to retreat again. Or we might just call it quits for now. Get a little bit. Get carried away and then. Where'd you come from? Oh, I'm gonna die. I died. I lagged. Oh, oh look. I didn't even sleep in my bed either. Well, I'm gonna go retrieve my stuff and I'm gonna stop recording so I can focus a little more. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did actually die. That's actually, I, well, I did die to an Enderman once, but that was kind of bogus. He just started attacking me for no reason. And I was already down like a few hearts. So I guess that's my first legitimate death. And I do think it was to lag because I was out of the room and then I was just heading out of the room. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully, hopefully it's a little better than this one. This one was kind of unorganized. I just wanted to record something. And, like, I just had this urge to record something on here all day. And I didn't even really plan it out all that well. So, I'm going to go retrieve my stuff. And I'm going to edit, end the video right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I did die. And thank you guys for watching. 